Hello, my friends. How are you? Welcome to 30 Albums for 30 Years. I am your host, Jay Sweet. Happy to have you here today for our final episode of 2023 and the final episode of season number two. Today's album is The Birds Turn, 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 released December 6th, 1965, recorded June 28th, November 1st, 1965. So the birds, turn, turn, turn. Well, I've already discussed the birds in length um, this year, season number two, episode 11, the album Mr. Tambourine Man. So we'll get right into uh, the details of this record. Turn, turn, turn is the second studio release of the birds in 1965, a year in which the birds were flying high. The record continued to showcase the band's folk rock innovations Roger McGuinn's 12-string electric guitar playing and vocal harmonies within the group. The album peaked at number 17 in the U.S. and number 11 in the U.K. The album also began David Crosby's recorded contributions as a songwriter and the continued development of McGuinn and Gene Clark as songsmiths. The album also features critical covers of Dylan's songs, a reinterpretation of Pete Seeger's Turn, 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 the feature on this record, And it would be the last Birds album, though, to feature the full participation of Gene Clark until a 1973 reunion album. All right, let's get into it. Just as a reminder, if you are listening on Spotify Premium, you will hear the full track. If you are listening... On the free version of Spotify or on some other format, you will only get a portion of each track. All right, let's continue. All right, what do you say we drop the needle on side number one, track number one? The tune is the title track, Turn, Turn, Turn. The lyrics are taken from the Bible and the book of Ecclesiastes although the words are rearranged, but not changed. The great folk singer, composer Pete Singer, first conceived the song in 1959. Then the Limelighters recorded the piece in 1962, during a time in which Roger McGuinn was working with that group. Judy Collins recorded a version in 1963, and there was even a German version from Marlene Dietrich in 1963 as well. But of all the versions, and there have been many, the Birds was the most successful. The song was a number one, number one hit for the group. Turn, Turn, Turn struck a chord with Vietnam protesters, thus giving its meaning um, something that was more poignant beyond just its biblical intentions. The track is instantly recognizable from McGuinn's opening twangy electric 12-string guitar intro. The vocal harmonies, big part of the bird sound, work perfectly, as does the guitar solo and Michael Clark's Latin-tinged drum beat. The instrumental outro section is also a feature. Let's enjoy this classic, Turn, Turn, Turn. (laughs) 